Hello and welcome to the Deanery Service for Sunday the 25th of April, which is brought to you today from St Mary's Church in Heweth. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd, the Good Shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. We begin today with our collect, the prayer for today. Risen Christ, faithful shepherd of your father's sheep, teach us to hear your voice and to follow your command, that all your people may be gathered into one flock, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. In baptism, we died with Christ, so that as Christ was raised from the dead, we might walk in newness of life. Let us receive new life in him as we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Like Mary at the empty tomb, 
we fail to grasp the wonder of your presence. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Like the disciples behind locked doors, we are afraid to be seen as your followers. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Like Thomas in the upper room, we are slow to believe. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Almighty God, who give, forgives all those who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The next day, the rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Anas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power, or by what name, did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people, and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick, and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, it has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. Your word is a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I laid down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Today is often referred to by the Church as Good Shepherd Sunday. I'm sure the Gospel reading is a bit of a giveaway as to why it gets that name. So what is a Good Shepherd? The image we often see of Jesus as the Good Shepherd, in paintings, etc., is a bit like the one that you have in front of you. It looks unbelievably cute and clinical. Nice and fluffy, white sheep, and the token lamb held by Jesus. However, we all know that in reality, 
that's not the case. A shepherd's life, certainly in Jesus' day, was by no means soft and fluffy. It was harsh and difficult. There was the constant looking for fresh pasture for grazing. The need to always be alert of dangers that surrounded the open and rugged countryside. Not to mention the lambing season and watching for sheep in difficulty or lambs struggling to survive. A shepherd's life was messy and difficult, often fraught with danger. Those who were shepherds were often considered to be the lowest of the low and were not recognised for the work they did and they were also very poorly paid. The messy and dirty job nobody wants. It's typical of Jesus to liken himself and his ministry and care to that of a group of people who were rarely considered in the grand scheme of things. But a good shepherd would be an amazing asset to any landowner. The reason for this is the passion and the love they gave to those in their care. So Jesus likens himself to the good shepherd, the person who has a real passion for those in his care. So many as we, times we read in the Bible of Jesus' immense care and passion for those who come to him, for his love of all creation. But we also see that those who hear him and believe respond to his genuine care for them. There is great trust and great belief that Jesus is there for them and will listen and be compassionate. They believe in his real connection with them and with God. They hear his voice and they trust him and know him. So what does this say to us? How are we to follow Jesus' example? Our most important task is to make his love and compassion known in our world. We must be open and ready to meet people where they are. Be ready to listen and understand the needs and the context of people's lives and situations and to understand their faith. We need to lead, to lead by example, but also to provide safe pasture where all can nourish in faith. We need to be open to the dangers that confront people in this world and do whatever we can to help in bringing a better life in this world for both people and the whole of creation. We need to be ready to listen to God's voice and where he is leading us. This isn't for the faint-hearted. It isn't for the young or the people withstanding in this world, but it is for every Christian. We all need to look and to go that extra mile. We are called to come together as one flock, to be nourished by one another and to work as one body. To be fed by prayer and worship, which will strengthen and guide us. We are to follow the Good Shepherd and recognise his voice as he calls us. God calls us to follow the example of the Good Shepherd and gives us the strength and courage we need. Because he is ever watchful and truly the Good Shepherd who leads us and shows us the way that we can care for his sheep and bring the flock together to meet the Good Shepherd, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
The Lord is our shepherd. Knowing his care for us, let us pray. Father, we give you thanks and praise for Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Help us to hear his voice and to follow him. We pray for all who share his pastoral ministry, especially those in our deanery. We give thanks for the work of hospital chaplains as they bring comfort and peace to those in their care. We pray for all who seek to maintain worship in dangerous or difficult places, remembering those who are persecuted for their faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for all who seek to bring peace and unity to our world. We pray for all those areas of the world that are in conflict, for the people who are frightened, homeless, hungry or weary, for refugees and asylum seekers. We thank you for the work of the agencies who help and support them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for all who have cared for us and provided for us, especially those who have supported us in times of need. We ask your blessing on our homes, our families and friends. And we remember those who are in care, whether young or old, and give thanks for those who look after them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have lost their way in life. We remember those who have lost faith in themselves, in others or in God. We pray for all who are struggling with illnesses or problems that they cannot solve and for those who feel unable to find help or hope. We ask your blessing on all who work to keep us safe from Covid and we especially remember the people of India as they fight against the pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We rejoice that the Good Shepherd gives us life eternal and that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. We especially remember those who have died recently and all who mourn their loss. May they feel surrounded with your love and comfort. We join with the fellowship of the saints and our loved ones departed to praise you. We commend them and ourselves to your unfailing love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As God's children and heirs of Christ, we cry in the Spirit, Abba, Father, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
the risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. You may want to pause this for a while to either call or text a friend and pass on peace to them. Or you may wait to wait until after the blessing and do it then. The Blessing The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.